Today we are in Morea, another island of French Polynesia. Look at the view I have from my cabin. So this place is so, so different to Papiti yesterday. Papiti was very commercialized. To an extent, it wasn't very commercialized, but this place is a completely different story. There's no mega yachts, no hotels. This place is purely for local people. And it shows straight away because the cars here are like 20 years older. All the buildings are like little huts. There's very little in terms of major uh, infrastructure, but it makes it so nice, it's like a little, tropical paradise in the middle of nowhere which is exactly what this place is um i've just found this little beach place thing um loads of coconuts there's loads of holes on the floor you know what like little animals will crawl out of so i've no idea what makes holes this big i don't know it's kind of scary to think well, what on earth made these holes but there's loads of them and they're everywhere but yes i'm very impressed with maria the temperature today is really warm but the heat's not sticky you know it's just a nice chilled out warm i'm really hot and I know I'm getting sunburned, <laughs> but I don't feel like I'm dying of heat, you know? I got off the tender about half an hour ago. Now, I went for a walk just in a direction. I don't know anything about this place, so I just went for a walk. And there's this road that goes all the way around the island, I believe. It's like the main highway motorway around Morea. And um, I say highway, and I use that word very, very loosely. It's just a two-way street. And that's the main highway and that just goes to show the kind of infrastructure that's here it's like walking through a jungle because i am walking through a jungle these islands are basically jungles uh, i haven't seen a snake yet so that's good it's exactly what i expected from a little polynesian island it's very rustic it's very local it's very low key it's not rich but it's not poor the locals here make do with what they have and they make do with it so well and it's a little island paradise And I like it. Still very expensive. Seven dollars for a Coke. Seven dollars for a Coke. And there's no card machines. So you have to pay in the local, is it French? It's like a franc, it's like a Polynesian franc I think they use here. So I'm gonna go this way now and see what I can find. And I've not yet been eaten by all these things on the floor. So far so good in Maria. It's just occurred to me that my phone and its 3G data, you know, mobile roaming, doesn't work here. Usually when you go to another country, your phone network, so O2 or whatever, will turn into, I don't know, Vodafone USA, right? Or whatever it'll be. But here it's not done that. And I dare say it's that remote, it's that rare of a place to visit. My phone company, it's O2 in England, has not got a, a partner to work with. So I hope I don't get lost because without Google, without the internet, I can't use Google, I can't use Google Maps and I can't find my way back to the ship. So I hope I don't get lost. But in saying that, there's probably worse places to be stuck than this beautiful tropical island. End of the day, the ship is just there. So I'll go for a big swim. I'll be all right. So one thing I have noticed uh, here in Morea, and it was the same yesterday in Tahiti, um, is that the mountains are completely covered in greenery and trees and shrubbery. They are so covered in this stuff. And I've never seen that before. I've seen mountains before and they're really barren at the top with maybe a bit of snow, but it just adds to the feeling that this place is so exotic. And I think it looks so beautiful in the background of that ship. I've just realized how far I've gone down this road. It's currently half past one. The last tender's at three. It's probably at least an hour's walk back. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back to the ship. Hope I'm not late if I miss that tender. Oh, now let's hope I don't get lost.
And that is now Morea ticked off my list. I really enjoyed Morea. I thought it was really, really nice. It was what I expected. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm knackered now. I've walked a fair few miles today. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Um, it's been a long two days. I know it sounds terrible having all this stuff to do in Tahiti and Morea, but I, I am genuinely really tired. I think the sun takes it out of you and the seawater and, you know, of course it's strenuous doing all this walking and swimming and stuff. So I'm actually now looking forward to two days of being at sea. <laughs> and that sounds really weird to say. We have two more days and our next port of call is Pago Pago, which is American Samoa. How cool does that sound? One thing I would say to people coming to Morea is this is definitely the kind of place where you want to plan ahead and plan what you want to do. Uh, either that's pre-book a tour or, you know, make a plan, get to Morea and then go to the beach or do an ATV trail or whatever. We make a plan in advance to what you want to do. I enjoyed what I did, but basically I spent three hours today walking down roads, which were beautiful and I enjoyed it. But I ended up seeing basically the sea and lots and lots and lots of houses. Um, which I enjoyed, but if you want to do Morea, I would say maybe in depth a bit more and actually get to see more of it, it's definitely the kind of place where you want to plan ahead. Uh, you can't just walk off because if you, if you walk off, you're going to get bungalows and houses and, and that's, if that's what you want to do, then that's fine. There's plenty of places you can chill along the way by the water. I saw a few people have a picnic in this little park area near the, near the beach, so it's fine, but my advice to you is to plan ahead. Um, I now just can't wait for a shower. I'll be honest, I can't wait for a shower. I can't wait to see how red my body has gone because I am so, so, so hot. But again, it's that nice heat. It's that nice sort of cool heat that you get whilst you're down here. Goodbye. I will see you tomorrow when we're back at sea and life resumes back to normal. And I have a lion. <laughs>